So recently, we have seen stories about an unknown object entering into our solar system from somewhere in our galaxy. Everyone was talking about it. Where could it have come from? You know, what, what's up with this? I think I have a theory on this. You see, because right now there's a collision of a galactic scale taking place. Now this galaxy is consuming other galaxies. And as we look out and as we begin to see more and more galaxies, apparently they have a penchant for uh, destroying each other, consuming, assimilating. Maybe they got the Borg idea, I don't know, but we do see this. So it's our, our galaxy, the Milky Way. It's really odd because I'm about to show you, it seems like our galaxy, which is, you know, middle size, you know, there's a larger one out there, a drama. We're going to talk about this. But it seems like our galaxy, which there are others, has been in more than one brawl. And how we begin to see this is that by observing light spectrums. And what we're observing is the fact <laughs> that there is a record that actually shows our galaxy has, how shall we say, danced with more than one. So I don't know if you know this or not. I always think it's kind of interesting just to look at it. So our galaxy is like roughly with 22 others. They call it the local group. And the Andromeda is the largest galaxy in the local group. Now, local being relative, because here we're talking millions of light years. This is really cool. So this is the local group. <laughs> yeah, you know, nothing like, you know, a couple million light years, Wayne, no problem. But here's the deal. So the Sagittarius Dwarf Galaxy, this is the one that's being uh, destroyed right now, Act literally consumed by the Milky Way. You can see that the Milky Way is surrounded by a lot of other dwarf galaxies. Here is Andromeda. It has the same um, complement, just not as dense. And these two systems are heading for each other. And the Triangulum Galaxy, as we're going to see, is going to play a really a major role. So this is 3 million light years across. This is a million. This is 100,000. So even as we bring it down further and further, you can see there is still a lot of traffic out there. And this one right here, it, the, the, if you just take the laws of probability, it says that what's happening with this galaxy, there's most likely life there, folks. So we have the Sagittarius Dwarf Elliptical Galaxy. Now, here's the weird thing. This Canis Major Dwarf Galaxy, we apparently have already tore it to shreds. We're finding debris fields. Seriously, debris fields. And it looks like this dance happens quite often. So when you begin to think about this now, of course, we're like 5 billion light years in the future. I intend to maybe stick around and see this. And always think, you know, remember one light year is 6 trillion miles. So put that in perspective. But this is triangulum right here. And this is Andromeda. This is us coming in, the Milky Way. And when we hit, we're going to hit. And because of the tidal forces, the gravity, yeah. So ultra-compact galaxies, billions of stars, trillions of planets. And the odds say that there's life there, sentient life. And as we can see Andromeda here, this is Sagittarius. We're beginning to see it more and more. So I just thought this was kind of interesting. So you have 
our Milky Way, this is our home base, and then these are all the other galaxies that dance with ours. And then this kind of tells you where they are. So this Canis, 25,000 light years, that's, that's literally next door. We're seeing already Sagittarius, and then you can see the others all the way down to Draco. This is a composite of our galaxy. Wow. Isn't it interesting how, um, not our galaxy, excuse me. Yeah, it is our galaxy. That, look on the, uh, the ecliptical plane here. How there's this dividing line. It's just so strange. This is a light composite of our galaxy. You can see, obviously, where the heat signatures are. Now, this is the interesting thing. They have actually found a ring around our galaxy. Now, I have a theory that this is, if galaxies consume other galaxies and rob them, much on like a vampire would, of the um, energy, stars adding into their own, and they consume this much like black holes would do. My theory is, is this is the byproduct of those encounters. So here's where we thought we were. We're closer now. Check this out. It's so odd. So this ring is weird. And we're finding that it's just not unique to us. It's I don't know that there's mysteries yet that we just haven't figured out that um, because we're talking on such massive distances and mass matter, huge. It is enough to make you just kind of, you know, go really. And, you know, of course, then your head's going to go exploding on me and then you're going to go, okay, so what has this got to do with us, Wayne? Really? All right. So let's just get a few more factoids. The Sagittarius galaxy is 10,000 times smaller than mass than ours, right? And we are watching right now, which is probably like in the middle of the show. It's been ongoing for millions of years. And we're seeing it now where the Sagittarius dwarf galaxy's core is hitting head on with the Milky Way. And so we're seeing this huge explosion of power. And it's literally just getting it tore up. And now we're beginning to see it on our telescopes, which means it's getting closer. Now, here's the other thing. You can see this is actor uh, David R. Law from UCLA. We're finding out that there are debris fields around our galaxy. And they're numerous, not just one but many of them, evidences of past encounters with other solar, I mean, not solar system, uh, galaxies. And it gets more intense as we go forward. So check this out, folks. This is really what's happening. It's, its galactic core is now hitting in the bands of our galaxy. And what we're finding out now, because our instruments are getting better, our optics are getting better, our programs are getting better, that our galaxy is surrounded by multiple debris fields. Now, when you begin to factor in that we're just now learning this, that we can see that these go out distances that boggle the mind, but no less debris. So imagine this, you got one cue ball coming in, objects get bumped, and now these debris fields play a major role in disturbing our solar systems in our part of the space. Things move really fast out there. So this is what my theory is, is that what we're seeing is this encounter that is well into its middle part now, millions of years. And now we're realizing that past encounters bring in more debris. 
what the Milky Way doesn't absorb directly in, these past solar systems that have ecliptical orbits different than ours really begin to impact us. And maybe it's why we've seen evidence as well of our own. So if those of you who really get to get out there and see the galactic core when it goes past us, you can now see the Sagittarius system showing up. And we're seeing it more and more on our telescopes. And you can just imagine this, folks, multiple debris fields coming in. It's just amazing. And again, these are still active star clusters. They got planets, they got stars there and there. Most likely have life. But ring, can you imagine that? I just find it. Now look at this, this magnetar, 2008. Now look at it. I mean, folks, there's some major, major energy that we're seeing and witnessing. And more discoveries all the time. So when we take this in and we begin to see that as our science gets better, as we begin to learn more about our solar system, we are now understanding that we can very easily get impacted and we have. Evidence shows in the recent past, our solar system has in fact, I believe, been impacted by this collision that's taking place right now. I believe that we're seeing and we're gonna learn more about gravitational waves, different type of energy waves that are being hitting our solar system, our planet, as we begin to understand the dynamics of forces taking place with these type of encounters. And when you begin to think about these large debris fields, that at any time we could be encountering one of these, uh, we know. We know this because between Jupiter and Mars, there once was a planet. Something destroyed that planet. And now part of that debris field actually got trapped around Jupiter and the other part around our sun. We're also learning now that it's very feasible that we could have planet nine, planet 10 out there because now we understand that these planets do not have always the same type of elliptical orbits that we get this idea of stability. And so when we think about destruction of events, yeah, I think again, the reason why we're seeing this is because of this collision of the galaxies in our neighborhood right now. And when you begin to understand that our solar system actually travels in a spiral more than in a lateral plane, it gets really messy out there. So yeah, I think we can expect more and more debris coming in. And if the past is any indication of the future, of which this is our future, then I think we can pretty much say that this dance, this dance that started billions of years ago, we're just now witnessing in our time. And it's quite fascinating and alarming in one aspect that we see this, but to see what's coming. So there's my theory, there's my th thing, check it out. Amazing when you begin to think about that we're actually witnessing a collision of galaxies, our galaxy. And what does that mean? hold for us in the future? Don't know, but it's certainly worth keeping an eye on. All right, we'll talk soon.